CMU had a meetup at uh, Mumbai. So they had a whole bunch of people who came there. Uh, everybody who was going to CMU from Mumbai gathered there to meet up. So I met them there. For Carnegie Mellon, there are two areas which are really popular, which are Shady Side and Squirrel Hill. Uh, a lot of people prefer, uh, tend to stay in Oakland as well. It's a little bit cheaper. Um, I just went with it as it was. We didn't negotiate much. Rent uh, in Pittsburgh, a five to six hundred would be uh, the average. Anything cheaper than that, you're getting a good deal. But usually, that's what I'm seeing. And uh, about that, uh, about say a uh, hundred bucks would come in utilities per person. Uh, uh, not per person. A uh, hundred to one fifty yeah. bucks split three ways in utilities. And. Um, Travel, you don't have to uh, worry about that. Carnegie Mellon gives you a bus pass, which is all you need actually. And food, it depends. If you eat out a lot, obviously you're gonna you're gonna be spending a lot, but you can save a lot by using groceries. Uh, so initial management of food, initially I ate out a lot because uh, for the first three or four days I ate out uh, ate out constantly. And after that, once everything was set up, uh, I uh, cooked a little bit, uh, and and I also carried a lot of food from India, which I ate in, the, in those first few days. And after uh, after three or four days, you get used to it. There's a grocery shop which is pretty close to both the areas, either Squirrel Hill or Shady Side. So I'd suggest uh, the orientation uh, dates reach around five to six days before that. So I would say some of it was useful. The, the orientation was pretty long. There was like four days of orientation. I think I don't remember the exact number, but uh, some of it was useful, but some of it was repeat of the other days. So uh, like the international student orientation was useful for uh, getting I-20 signed and all that, which allows you to travel outside the country. Uh, that depends because uh, it's it's per course, as in. So, for example, my machine learning course had 200 students with uh, uh, with people from all nationalities, you could say. But my applied information assurance class had 30 students. I would say around half my class. At the beginning of semester, yes, you do get time to do that. But as the semester carries on, you get a lot, uh, a lot busier. It's very difficult to find time for other activities.